The plan required the destruction of all existing governments and religions. This objective was to be reached by dividing the masses, whom he termed goyims, meaning the human cattle, into opposing camps in ever-increasing numbers on political, racial, social, economic, and other issues. The opposing sides were then to be armed and an incident provided which would cause them to fight and weaken themselves as they destroyed national governments and religious institutions. In 1776, Weishaupt organized the Illuminati to put the plot into execution. The word Illuminati is derived from Lucifer and means holders of the light. Using the lie that his objective was to bring about a one world government, to enable men with proven mental ability to govern the world, he recruited about 2,000 followers. I learned about was Alistair Crawley. He likes to bring, have his name pronounced Crowley to rhyme with holy. And uh, the Satanists today, and for the number of years in the past, have basically used his philosophy and his writings as a guide. And uh, so uh, let's talk about some of his writings and teachings. And here on page 94 of his book, it would be unwise to condemn as irrational the practice of those savages who tear the heart and liver from an adversary and devour them while yet warm. In any case, it was the theory of the ancient magicians that any living being is a storehouse of energy varying in quantity according to the size and health of the animal and in quality according to its mental and moral character. At the death of the animal, this energy is liberated suddenly. The animal should therefore be killed within the circle. That's, we're talking about the satanic circle, Lee. And now listen to this sentence, folks, closely. For the highest spiritual working, one must accordingly choose that thing which contains the greatest and purest force. A male child of perfect innocence and high intelligence is the most satisfactory and suitable system. We're talking about human sacrifices. And so what the Illuminati do is they make sure that only their people, or those that are not a problem to them, um, will reach those levels of power in which decisions have to be made to push this agenda forward. Clearly, her belief in Kabbalah, the study of Jewish mysticism, has deeply affected her. Is the young woman who once so publicly rejected the Catholic faith of her childhood now Jewish? You attend Jewish services now. Well, that's what some people think. Um, I don't attend Jewish services. Straighten us out. Well, I hear the Torah, but I'm not Jewish, and nor have I converted to Judaism. I think, I think I'm, I'm connecting, connecting to something, something that predates, predates religion. religion. The Kabbalah is a collection of Jewish magical texts which were given to mankind via psychic communion with a fallen angel called Raziel. Raziel is one of a pantheon of so-called fallen angels who serve the light bringer Lucifer. The Kabbalah describes the many angels and demons who inhabit the spiritual realm. The Kabbalah gives Kabbalists a road map called the Tree of Life which explains how to invoke and communicate with these powerful spirits. The magical information in the Kabbalah originates from Babylon and ancient Egypt at the time of the pharaohs.